Hi everyone, this is Meir. It's amazing. It's so hot in so many places of the world. And here in San Francisco, we don't even see the sun in the outer sunset. But I'm enjoying the weather as it is. It's so comfortable to walk here. And I'd like to continue with the message that I had yesterday about people's pessimism and which is being very much reinforced by physicians. I have to kind of bring back the whole idea that our fears of our problems become a very dominant thing related to our function. I'll never forget the wonderful work that I did with an infant who was born with cataract in one eye, and her eye, the right eye, did not turn right. It kind of was so cross that it looked at her nose. And I met her at the age of five months, and I connected to the infant so clearly. And then with stimulation outdoors and with stimulation of light indoors, we could get her to point the the eye outwards. I can tell you that if she was not five months old, but 50 years old, it would take me a year or two to get her to point the eye outwards. But at that age, it took a session of two and a half hours, and it was done. And now I met a wonderful baby in a religious family, nine months old, that his mom felt that he's not focusing and the doctors thought there was no problem. And then she felt that his eyes are crossed and the doctors thought there was no problem. And when they saw there was a problem, they said, now we need a series of surgeries. That's when she approached me. And we had a very fun session. But one thing that I can tell to everyone, sometimes we need to work with invasion of our body. And sometimes we need to work with the powers that the body has. So one great example I have is my good friend Vered that I mentioned in few messages before. She was able to prevent the cataract surgery for 20 years, but now I recommended that she'll do it as her vision start to be dimmer. And sometimes we can do without it. But she had a major surgery related to her digestive system. And that's when she deteriorated also with her eyes. And that surgery took a lot of recovery. And quite often doctors have to realize that things do connect. Somehow, somebody told me once that from all these specialties, one of these days, one doctor will know what to do with the right ear lobe, and the other doctor will know what to do with the left ear lobe. While it's a joke, and while it's funny, I want to say that that's more and more the case. Some people know only what to do with the retina, some people know only what to do with the cornea, some people know only what to do with the lens, and those who know everything generally are considered to be illiterate because others have advanced so much in their knowledge with the part that they're working. Well, Vered had her lens removed in her right eye and it was fixed to see at a distance with glasses she could read with that eye. But she refused to wear the glasses. So she did the exercise we did for eye teaming. It's with the red and green glasses And I want to remind to all of you who can, order those glasses so I can do a session for eye teaming with everyone. And with the red and green glasses, she could dominate with the eye that was fixed for the distance. And look at the light with that eye while looking at the circle with the other eye. You can also see it in my books, Awakening Your Power of Self-Healing and Vision for Life. By creating fusion with the two eyes, she was able to read with her right eye that is fixed to only see at a distance. Can you imagine? She got 
in her glasses to see the distance, but with the work of her brain, she was able to change the way that the eye works. You can lengthen your eyeball and shorten it. You can work better with your cornea and worse, even though it's known to be fixated. You can work better with your retina. And the point that I'm saying is, your brain is the master. Your brain can send you to many, many places you couldn't imagine. So when you hear from your physician, your eye is fixed to be nearsighted, don't you believe it. When you hear from your physician, at your 40s, you must be farsighted. Again, don't believe it either. When you hear from your physician, your baby is cross-sighted, it needs surgeries, don't believe it either. Work and work with your brain. In the last 40 years, we know more and more brain flexibility. And Norman Deutsch, who is very known in that field, mentioned me in one of his books. So while the world is talking about brain flexibility, neurology and ophthalmology is not using it. Now it's time for us all to use it. Join our classes. Join our DVDs and our videos. Help us create a revolution. Let us all be the critical mass that can change the viewpoint of everyone. New research will come that will find that we are right, that actually eyes can see better, that paralyzed limb can start and move, that tension in your back can relax, that all it takes is consciousness and connection with your brain. And that's my message. I want to get you from where you are to where you can be with your potential. Much love to all of you, your friend Mayer.